This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 14th of November. I'm James Spann. Clouds invading the state today, but prospects of rain pretty small. Let's go to the SkyCam network. These images were captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's a look at uh, downtown Birmingham. That's looking south from high atop the Daniel Building. It's clear and cold. Let's look at uh, downtown ja or, uh, Fayette up in uh, northwest Alabama. All the Christmas decorations are out there. And look at that Christmas tree in downtown Clanton in Chilton County. Uh, tis the season. All right, there's the deal. Got a very strong wave coming in here. You know, and if we had a moist air mass in place, today would be a very wet day, but we don't. The air is just as dry as a bone, so we'll see clouds moving in, but prospects of really significant rain are very small today. Cold again this morning. Uh, many spots are below freezing. And, you know, it was actually colder uh, just after midnight, but as the clouds started to move in, temperatures leveled off and actually started rising in a few places, like up in Fort Payne. They were at uh, 32 at 10 o'clock last night. They were at 34 at 5 o'clock this morning when it typically would be colder. And around the nation, a cold continental air mass in place. So obviously severe weather and storms won't be an issue for a while until something modifies. In fact, uh, there's a watch warning map. It's amazingly quiet for mid-November around the nation. Uh, just uh, the, We have the freeze warnings in effect here and uh, some um, fog issues up north. There's the rain for the next five days. Valid through the weekend, valid through 6 o'clock Sunday evening. And a little green here, but again, uh, I, the, the better chance of rain clearly will be off to the east. We'll check the GFS. This is the global forecast system, valid at 12 noon today at 500 millibars. There's your short wave. And down below that, model shows nothing. Uh, but it will be mostly cloudy. And again, the day will be uh, cool with temperatures probably uh, not getting past the uh, mid-50s. Just for the fun of it, let's check the high-resolution NAM. This is the 4-kilometer NAM. And uh, you can see that it does spit out a few sprinkles, even as far west as the I-65 corridor, with a better chance basically along and south of Interstate 85 down in southeast Alabama. So there could be a few blips on radar today, and somebody might see a sprinkle. But again, it just should not amount to very much because this air is so I mean, dry. Dew points are you know down in the 20s and 30s. Tomorrow will be a cool and dry day. It still could be cloudy over much of the state. West Alabama could break out in sunshine, but for East Alabama, I think the clouds could linger. Where the clouds linger, same deal. We won't get past the mid-50s, but where the sun breaks out, we might make a run at 60 over West Alabama. And then we'll go back to the higher resolution NAM. This is a Thursday at noon. You can see the better rain chances off to the east. Friday should be a pretty decent day. Uh, partly to mostly sunny with temperatures easing up into the middle 60s. And that's the deal for the weekend. We'll be dry and seasonal. Uh, wet weather off the Atlantic coast, but around here Saturday should be mostly sunny with uh, low to mid 60s, the exact same thing on Sunday. Morning lows, upper 30s, low 40s. So a perfect fall weekend coming up for football or anything else. Hey, next week it's Thanksgiving week. There's Monday. We've got ridging here, so Monday will be a dry day with uh, mid-60s. Tuesday, you can see showers west of here from Memphis all the way down to the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas. That would include some rain around Houston and Shreveport, but uh, we would stay dry. And then Wednesday, this is your big travel day, Thanksgiving Eve. The uh, GFS is depicting a, a trough over the east, ridging over Texas. Trough off the Pacific Northwest Coast. Bottom line, what does it mean? Well, there you go. Pick out your destination. See how you're doing with weather. Really, no major problems around the nation. Uh, you know that feature that uh, maybe would bring a shower in here Tuesday night. That's uh, moving on out. Uh, temperatures would be seasonal. The, the most inclement weather in the nation would be in the Pacific Northwest with uh, rain on the coast and maybe some mountain snow up there. Thanksgiving Day. Now, all of a sudden, things look bright and sunny here, if this is right. That would be a sunny and... Kind of a pleasant day with highs in the 60s. Thickness values are coming up. And Black Friday, same thing. Really nice, mostly sunny with uh, temperatures in the 60s during the day. Main issues on uh, the big shopping day would be out in the Pacific Northwest and the mountains out there with snow. And looks awfully windy and cold up in New England. All right, let's check the end of the forecast. This is the 29th of November. Uh, trough in the uh, northeast, trough moving into California, and we're kind of in between all that. 
nice and quiet. And the good news, we see no sign of any severe weather problems for the rest of this month. And if we can make it through a November without that, we're doing okay. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News if you can on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Does your weatherman have a face for radio? ABC 3340's James Spann may be hair challenged, but he sure is entertaining, especially when he teams up with everyone's favorite radio duo, Rick and Bubba. From the radio airwaves to the small screen, it's the Rick and Bubba TV show five days a week. Watch Rick and Bubba along with ABC 3340 Chief Meteorologist James Spann, Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. on the Nashville Network, provided by ABC 3340.